we're back on the road again. Thought I'd take a little, uh, little run out west today, along the coast of South Wales. <coughs> I don't know if uh, I'm actually going to go. I think it's all weather dependent, to be honest. I don't like the look of the clouds. Head out towards Cardiff first. And see how we go from there. So yeah, join me for the ride. Look at those naughty policemen. This week camera. Naughty policemen. They'll catch a few people coming over that hill as well, I think, because it does go from a 50 to a 30 quite dramatically. carriageway that favours a 125 50 mile an hour limit I could do that So I bought myself some new summer gloves the other day. Uh, Oxford, whatever they're called. I don't know what they're called. Roachford or Rockford or something like that. They're summer gloves. Nice. Rubber, rubber knuckles. Um, obviously the, the leather on the inside of the palm of the hand. And Kevlar for the protection. But uh, yeah, they, they feel good, even though it's not the warmest of days today, they still keep my hands pretty, pretty warm, so I'm happy with that. Let's go in for an overtake. But over there, which means one thing there's a Tesco around the corner where I can get myself a meal deal for my lunch. Oh, I'll see if I when I 
to stop. You know? Landaff Cathedral in the uh, distance there. large Tesco's this one. Apparently the staff used to go round on roller skates. The store's that big. <laughs> We've been in here a few times but I've never seen anyone on roller skates. Not that I can remember anyway. Health and safety probably wouldn't allow that now. No. The world's gone mad. This must be really exciting to watch, me driving into a Tesco car park. Do they have the motorcycle park in? Probably not. They might surprise me. They haven't surprised me. I'll put it with the normal bicycles. Oh, well, that was a bit of a bust. They haven't got a hot daddy going to I just wanted to get a sausage roll or something to eat afterwards. I haven't got enough room in my bag for a, for a sandwich. So I thought, oh, I'm gonna... I guess I'm, that's pretty flat to bring with me. But uh, never mind. I've got a ride through Barry on the way. I think there's a Greg's in Barry. I'll, uh, I'll stop there. Busy for a Sunday morning. No. Curry's? No. Starbucks? No. Greg's? Yes. Park it right in front of the door. I like that. <laughs> They're probably a noise of drivers. I've parked right in front of the thing, but never mind. <clears throat> Hmm. I don't care. Right then, so off we go. Another 50 mile an hour road. Last to know now is coming.
like this bit of road. This is fun. Left here, I think. Yeah, we'll go left. I don't know where the good parking spots are to see the planes taken off and, and landing. So we'll have a quick look. Somewhere tidy. I'm not that familiar with the layout of Cardiff Airport either, so that's the, the runway's a runway in my eyes, so I don't really. Is that, uh, that hotel there before? Ooh. Ooh, there we go. Thank you very much, Ryanair. So there we go. So we'll go up this way. It's somewhere tidy up here. I can park. I will try and get them coming overhead. Is there anywhere up here, though? This road seems to be a lot lower than the runway. Hopefully the road goes out of hell the other side. Looks promising. Might be a good little place to stop below here somewhere. Go up and turn around. I like this. planes go up and down the same runway? I don't know. So will I only get them landing over the top of me? Or will I see them taking off above me as well? I don't know. I have no idea. Like I said, I know absolutely nothing about aviation other than the fact that they take off and land. That's about it. That's about as far as my knowledge goes on aeroplanes. So <laughs> that nice little pull around now. Nice little place to stop. Alright. Part by you. What I'm going to see though, to be fair, looks pretty 
bleak. Right. But no, no, we'll just hear it circle overhead. Oh, as I say that, the plane comes overhead, beautiful. Lovely jubbly, so I know I'm in the right place. Sweet. Right then, let's have some lunch. Right, so I decided to uh, try a different part of the airport as well. Um, unfortunately, I didn't see anything coming in or going out. I guess there's not that many departures or arrivals on a Sunday afternoon. Um, either that or I was in the wrong place. It could may well be the latter. Because I was seeing quite a few little planes coming in where I stopped first of all. Um, so I may well go back there for a couple of minutes. We'll see. So I'm heading back towards the airport now. From where I have stopped. I don't know if I'll see anything down here. It's always worth a look. I think the only place to stop is just at the side of the roundabout. If it's quiet enough, I might be able to get away. Right, so I found a little spot to stop. Not much of a view though, to be honest. See the big one air plane there, but uh, there seems to be some kind of RAF plane in the background circling. So I hope I haven't missed the opportunity of that taking off because that'll annoy me a bit if I've missed that. But, um, yeah, wonder if there's any better places to see. The problem is, where I'd stopped before was at the bottom of the runway so you could see planes turning or taxiing I guess but couldn't actually see them taking off you could see them when they're up in the air you couldn't really see them taking off which is a bit of a pain but uh, yeah I'm hoping they're somewhere a bit further maybe down the main road where I can see them actually taking off because that's quite annoying really but never mind yeah. Oh well, I think we'll call it a day on this run. Oh, see, there's a twoie there in the background. Yeah, I think we'll call it a day on this because I haven't really got a clue where the best places are to stop down here to watch planes taking off and landing. So, yeah. So, there she is. Let's get back on the road. I'll catch you in the next one, people. Bye bye.